Arizona may have to add another C to its five C's. Chips. ABC 15 data analyst Garrett Archer takes us inside the numbers on why Arizona is quickly becoming the semiconductor manufacturing powerhouse. Industry people and politicians love adding the word silicon in front of a land type and talking about how strong the growing tech sector is in their area. But referring to the Phoenix Metro as the Silicon Desert is appropriate. In the near future, we will be the semiconductor factory for the entire U.S. About 23,000 semiconductor jobs were reported by the Labor Department in 2022. That's 5% up from the year before and a huge 25% uh, five-year growth number. Now, this is not an industry that has consistent job growth. Far from it, in fact. The sector peaked in 2001, which translates about 37,000 semiconductor jobs in the Valley of the Sun. But what came next is a 50 year decline first quickly and then slowly but we hit the bottom in 2017 and since then it's been nothing but growth uh, as you can see the valley fell a bit more than the US as a whole but is also now past that trend we've surpassed the US and investments announced since 2022 will put that growth into overdrive according to the semiconductors industries associations data no other state in the country has more new projects announced or more money being invested 17 new projects in Arizona with a total investment of $69 billion, almost all of that coming from TSMC. Texas comes in second with $49 billion coming mostly from Samsung and Ohio third with an investment from Intel. In fact, when you look at all the semiconductor investments, both new and existing projects, Arizona comes out on top. Again, the only state with over $100 billion. The other state to come close to this number is Texas at about 85. 5 billion. Oregon, Ohio, New York, and Idaho are the other states with double digit investments in the semiconductor industry. With a look inside the numbers, I'm Garrett Archer, ABC 15, Arizona. Thank